Bansley to get us underway. Canada in the white, Germany in the black vests. Strong blocking out the net by Wilkerson, but the point goes the way of Kozic. And the German team, 1-0 to Germany. that time Wilkerson gets some revenge at the net 1-1 one, one. and Wilkerson will serve for the first time Point going where the Germans the touch at the net by Wilkerson so better here quickly up to the net Wil Wilkerson from the serve but then just knocking the net as well. Kozic has the chance to serve. Was in the German women's national indoor team for the FIVB World Grand Prix of 2009. Borger and Bansley, two experienced players. Lovely spike then from Bansley. Making it to a piece now. Athleticism. Carla Borger. The response from Heather Bansley was similar. <laughs> now right, it goes once more. And if they get the point, Wilkerson again needs to be aware of where she is at the net because a couple of times she's, well, once she's hit the net and once there, I thought she was mighty close, close to doing the same again. Needs to be careful not to offer up cheap points to this German team. Kozic over the top of the Wilkerson block. Wilkerson dinks the ball back over the net. Good rally this between the two. Wilkerson can't reach to add a finishing touch. Bansley. Power, precision, points. 4-2. Canada, a good rally between both there. But the Canadians in the end just had the quality to finish and it was Heather Bansley with a mighty finishing blow. Kozic. Spike, Bansley, great defence from one of the world's best defenders. That time, didn't get a fit right, attacked the net more. Opened up the opportunity to Wilkerson. They change sides of the court. Super spike from Magazeta Kozic. Bansley had just come forward. Great crowd interaction here at the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour. 150,000 US dollars at stake across this week. <laughs> Bansley, simple enough. Not the tallest, as we said. In fact, the shortest player on court. And made it count once more. The Canadian pairing went down in 33 minutes straight sets to Borgia, who we see on our screen and her colleague Kozic in Pool E earlier this week. Right at the moment, looks like they're going to pick up. If form continues, their first set against this German pairing this weekend. It's tied together the head-to-head -to -head between the two at one apiece. Wilkerson, Bansley. Wilkerson now into the defences of Kozic. She was unable to keep the ball alive as she was retreating. Wilkerson, enough power and directed, well, straight at the face of Kozic there. 
So now taken 7-3, the score. Bansley and Wilkinson, a strong start. Kozic and Berger. Berger just slightly off form at the moment for the 12th ranked team in the competition. Very calm conversations going on at this time in set one. Welcome to the action if you're only just joining us here at the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour. The early news of the team in black there, the German team. A little bit slow to get going on the sand today. Lanzin Wilkinson, Wilkinson of Canada. 7-3 up against Kozic and Borger, who you see in your shot. The number five seeds there in the white against the number 12 seeds. These two teams are very evenly matched. That team in there. 14th FIVB World Tour event, the German pairing just 11 to their name. Lots of experience from one of the two on either side. Bansley and Borger have been there, done it and got the t-shirt at this level of oh, beach volleyball. Wilkerson and Kozic. The tall players on each side, there is Wilkerson, not so much. We return to the action. Kozic backcourt spike from her. Easy points for the former indoor player. Playing in just her 13th tournament overall. Oh, it goes wrong there for Heather Bansley. Straight off the serve, the ace for the Germans. Kozic sent it to the left hand side of Bansley. Got her hands all wrong. Wilkerson had far too much to do. Yes. The touch of Germany don't get the point there, they don't keep the ball alive. They and the serve over to the Canadian pairing. Kozic and Wilkerson evenly matched at the net. It's quite a lot taller, but Wilkerson there offers superb defences. Magnificent blocking from the Canadian, towering over Kozic. She did so. And Kozic went away just throwing some sand in the air to test the wind. Nine five Canada have the lead. And again Wilkerson there causing Kozic problems. And then adding the finishing touch as well to the plate with a deftness and a quality. And suddenly the Canadians have double the score of this German team. We're still a long way to go in the first set, but at the moment it's looking on them. Ominous with the team ranked tire. Oh, <laughs> Rare fault in this semi final. under pressure at the net mismatch on height two points in a row for the German team it goes once more the referee Signals the point goes Canada's way. But it wasn't through the block, it was clipping the net on the way through. The Canadians once more have a four point lead. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Applause from the crowd. Bansley over the top of Borga. Safely in. And Canada safely once more just working their way away from this German team. Kozic. Set for Borga. Borga into the net. Dangerous times these for the German team. They're a long way away from this Canadian side in the opening set at the moment. That will help them though. Because the scores have reached 21 points overall. Go to what is known if you're unfamiliar with beach volleyball as a technical timeout. Happens in each of the first two sets. There are, of course, three sets in beach volleyball when the scores equal 21. In the third set, two teams play just to 15. The first two sets go to 21. You have to be two clear, one ace, one service error so far. Attacks. Heather Bansley, 6 from 10, 60% efficiency. Brandy Wilkerson, though, less opportunities to attack, but a higher percentage of success. And she's been there in blocking as well. The two in quick succession against Kozic at the net today. She also made that one error at the net where she touched the net very, very early on. Just the lapse in concentration from the 25-year-old. Both Bansley and Wilkerson currently live in Toronto, the stunning lakeside city. Kozic yet to settle into this game. Both the Canadians go for the serve, though. There was a huge error there from them. Lack of communication left no one. Available to keep the ball alive. And again, no communication between this Canadian pairing as they've come back from the technical timeout. And an ace from Kozic twice in a row. Partly due to the Canadian. Lack of time. time out taken, not surprisingly so. Kozic and Borja just with those two in quick succession points. I think Bansley say, let me get the service return. And those ones. Funny how beach volleyball can ebb and flow these two teams of course very much building towards next year's world cup which will take place in hamburg the world tour finals will be in hamburg for a second time this year 2018 they were of course in the canadians home city of toronto that was where these two first played back in 2016. <laughs> There you go, they see the run. Four points so far. Kozic serves, and another race. By placing the ball in between these two Canadian players, mass confusion is ensuing at the moment. Three aces in a row, can't you make it four? That time the Canadians deal with it better. Wilkerson with the attack, Borgia in defense does well and in attack does well too and germany currently rapidly back into this 13 12 for score now four points in a row okay. 
Anton from back of the service line. Kozic off the block, but Pan Bansley has set the cover behind Wilkerson. Rightly so, because the power was in the spike from the German player. Wilkerson, the block on it that Bansley expected. Superb. Oh, unlucky Wilkerson. What a rally that was. The Germans getting the point. The Germans bringing it back to 14 apiece. Kozuc and Borja had to work incredibly hard to manufacture anything from the point. And in the end, the Wilkerson, well, you, would say, you could say error. So much that came off her fist away from Bansley but it would be rather harsh on Brandy Wilkerson to judge that as an error comes back with a strong attack testing times for this Canadian team interesting to see how they come through this first set having had five point leads on a number of occasions Wilkerson two blocks so far for the game interesting as a Relatively inexperienced pairing together. Now they cope the toing and throwing at the net again. Wilkerson wins the battle with Kozic. Borja over the top and into the space. Back to a tight game. Off the net and then Borja just realising the space was there. The ball safely in. Intricate tattoo work. Oh, Wilkerson, well done. The ball was really popped back. Off the dig. And the Germans now into a lead, and it's 16 50. Well earned, Germany here. Would you leave in that closer to the net than I think she planned? Kozic. Waits to serve. <laughs> Clever. Heather, Heather Bansley. Faked the power in the spike. And took everything off it. The ball was almost going backwards when it left Bansley's hand and Borja noticed well noticed what was going on but had no option to keep the ball alive at all Bansley to serve into the net it goes again a rare error on service That's I remember coming from this Canadian pairing that Kozic won earlier as well Wilkerson pushing the ball Comes back with an attack, and the German defence was narrow down the centre of the court. Meant that Wilkerson, with some quick thinking and some quick pre scanning, was able to use the space cleverly left handed spike. to the German pairing. They finished 17th in the FIVB World Championships of 2017. The Super Spike as they change courts once more. Closest of sets now. It wasn't that way earlier on. Germany have come back in this one. Bansley. Borgia keeps it alive. Returns with interest, but Bansley's there. And second attempt, Borgia makes no error. And now Germany have a two-point lead. The winner, 
the men's and the women's competition. 20,000 US dollars. Second place, 16. Third place, 10. The Germans want the point. They get the points. It's called out. Let's see from here. Just, just out. Good call by the referee. Was that based on the call of the uh, judge or the appeal of the German player? An important call. It is currently it is set point to Germany. It's not going to be overruled. Protests are continuing. Spoke about the psychology of the German touch of the net there as well. Spoke about the psychology of this set on the Canadians, and again, an interesting time, a make or break time for this pairing in this set. Not overall, that's definitely in from Bansley. They save one match point, they make it 2018 now. The blocker Wilkerson was there, but it wasn't strong enough. Kozic goes away with her fist clenched in celebration. And Germany from nowhere have turned that around from being five points down on more than one occasion to win the first set, 21-18. Kozic Borja take the first against Bansley and Wilkerson. And at the moment, it's the German pairing that are heading for a final here in Ostrava. Currently ranked 16th in the FIVB World Tour rankings. They have 2,940 points and 10th overall in winnings with 35,000 US dollars won. for Kozic it would be her first ever final it's her first ever final for should this German pairing win Carla Borja chasing her first ever gold and there are these sets statistics one set to love to the Germans four aces to none overall currently for Germany 13 attacks to 12 in favor of the Canadians couple of blocks for Wilkerson Five errors from the Canadian pairing. We're underway for the second set. Goes Germany's way. Wasteful from Carla Borger. This uh, hob is in a spare time as playing the saxophone. 1-1 one, one hit. 1-0 one to Germany in sets. Lovely from Kozic to make it 2-1 now. Of course, Canada had comfortable leads in the first, but the serving of Kozic, he got four aces overall, three of them coming in a row. As the Canadians stop talking to each other, Kozic keeps the ball alive inventively off the net, as you do see fairly regularly in this form of volleyball. Very different, of course, from the indoor game. And again, the Germans celebrate and stretch their lead. Wilkerson, the net, probably helping Borja there. Back came Borja to put the points away. Kozic to serve, 3-1 the score. Oh, 
Patrick in it lands. Simplest of points handed back to Germany and the serve to Borja. Borkerson. In it goes. An excitable clap of the hands from Wilkerson in response to this point. Oh, she was leaving nothing margin wise there. That literally was on the line, not exactly where Brandy Wilkerson would have meant to plant the ball, although some might say she placed it perfectly. Error at the net. You see the frustration there from Wilkerson, the number two for Canada. Here she comes in attack. Kozic and Borgia really hitting their stride off Bansley out of play and goes 6 3 now. Well, Mansley just couldn't get her feet across. This is, of course, a four star event on the FIVB World Tour. The events are ranked from one to five, with then, of course, majors above the five star rated events. Majors on the horizon. Gustav Vienna. But to come before then, four star event next week in Warsaw, Poland. And Espino on the western edges of Porto on the coast of Portugal. West coast of Portugal should be rather warmer there than it is here. Took a touch there and out to play at Wenton. Kosic gets another point off the fist of Bansley. Simplicity for Wilkerson there. of the ball from the Germans. They manoeuvred the Canadians to the left-hand side of the court here. Both went across and speed of thought from Kozic. Super spike, super position as well. Change sides. 8 6 the score. You can see the utilization of some wet sunglasses. Today isn't even particularly bright, quite overcast overhead. At least the rain stopped, which we woke up to this morning. Kozic off Wilkerson. He leans back and gives too much to the spike. Was never really in position to put the power and the downward force she needed to keep that ball in play. No right Canada off yet. They were in a better position than this in the first set. And they went on to succumb to the German team. At the moment, Germany are very much ticking along. Oh. 
Bansley. Through Kozic. Three misses to the gods. Power from Bansley. Oh, he hit the net. Now unlucky. She was grimacing because she thought the ball might bounce out. Play. Germany get the added points. Kozacu resides now in Milan in Italy. Of course, beach volleyball players tend to be travelling a lot of the year anyway from tournament to tournament. Borja. Wilkerson at the net, can't keep the ball alive, can't send the ball back into German territory. And currently it's now Canada 7, Germany 12, a five-point lead. This set to the German pairing. At the moment, all the flow and the rhythm is with the team in black with the pink trousers on. Bansley into the net it goes that just about sums it up as Bansley with the court wide open on the right hand side as she looked was unable to take full advantage unable to place the ball exactly where she meant to Bansley off Kozic, Kozic can return the ball with the dig Just from Carla Borger. Technical timeout. Canada 8, Germany 13. Quite a long way out in the end. The rain returns as the technical timeout sends the players to have a sit down. Four aces for Kozic. And there are the best attacking stats. 50% for Kozic so far. Two blocks for Wilkerson, none anywhere else. Kozic unable to affect Wilkerson directly as much as Wilkerson. As director counterpart, let's have a look at some of the highlights. Wilkerson, 42% efficiency in her attack. The rain now trickling down here in Ostrava. Bansley, straight down the middle, knife through butter. Wilkerson, excitable. Bansley, effective in her play there. Super spike. No defence. Out of play goes the point returned immediately by Wilkerson. The rain really is starting to come down now. This is not what you imagine when you think beach volleyball. Weather in the teens and rain trickling. Bansley cuts the ball across court to the right hand side as she looks. Have Canada oh, got what it takes to keep that alive? Well, that was not far away. Yes! 
Super, super spike from her. 15 10. Oh, Bansley had predicted the shot down the sideline. The ball is left cleverly by Bansley, realizing that it was hot. 15-11, Canada chase the game, Canada needs some magic like the Germans had in set one where Kozic served them back into the match, back into the set, into contention, and they very much are in contention currently because they're 16-11 up, Kozic has yet another point to her game so far with the cut shot right-handed. Now the teams will change sides once more. Every seven points. Of course, we've had four lots of seven so far. Wilkerson just encouraging Bansley. Bansley, who has played 12 seasons on the tour, 86 tournaments, make this her 87th. Silver medal position three times. 16-13. It's about this point in set one that the Germans served their way back into contention. Can Canada give them a taste of their own medicine? Out it goes. The run continues. The German lead currently three sets. Let's see. Kozic, oh, clever by the Germans. They maneuvered Wilkerson superbly there, weaving between the two of them. Kozic switched sides. Borger had the play sorted. And that was marvelous by the German pairing. They've got a plan at the moment, and the German team are trying to seal that plan, but Kozic slightly blanked on the script briefly. Simple. They continue to edge towards the match. And another final for Carla Borga. The first for Marazeta Kozuc. Itapema in Brazil. Last time these two were playing in May, they picked up $6,000, losing in the quarter-finals. Kozic, Bansley does well, Borger returns. Then has the chance to score and can't do so. Looping the spike over the top, bring it back to 18-17. Change sides once more. This is the closest of seven sets. Will we sneak into a third? Can Canada turn this round, or can the Germans hold their nerve? The German football team very much held their nerve yesterday evening. The likes of certain colleagues of mine can Germany today in this first semi final hold their nerve from ahead 1917 into the net once more. You're not allowed to touch the net in volleyball.
Hensley. Attacks Borger, does two. Can Wilkerson finish the point here? Yes, she can. 19-18, Canada not giving up. But any error on service generates match points here. three of the most vital of times monster block from her and it really was she was towering over Carla Borgia that <laughs> Bansley kept it alive was that drifting out Borgia thought no and returns with the point. It is now match point. The German pairing. Can they finish this here? The sunglasses are off. It's very, very wet indeed. The crowd stand. The players wait. Can the experience Carla Borger? Just, just, just now. 20 points apiece. It wasn't far away. Let's have a look at the replay here. Wow. I'm not sure what the review system would have said on that, but you don't have that in beach volleyball. So there's no question. This is his final. Players respect that. Wilkerson to set up set points for the Canadians. She does so. We could be going to three, you know. We could have three pretty wet sets here. In Estrava to start us off the day in the first semi final. Heather Bansley. Serving for the set. Kozic. Well, it taken a touch. No, it doesn't. The set goes the Canadians' way. 22 20. We're going to three. Well. Both sets have mirrored each other for the fact the team that did not win the set have been five points clear. At some point, a substantial way through each set. And at the moment, Canada having been up in the first went down 21-18. And the Germans follow suit in the second 22-20. Let's have a look at the highlights. set statistics one set apiece one ace to nothing for the Canadians 14 attacks to 12 for Germany errors eight for the Germans six for the Canadians don't forget to have your say and join the conversation hashtag FIVB it's wet it's a little bit windy it's not exactly a vintage beach volleyball weather. There's not a sunglasses pair in sight. Just as I say that, that chap is an eternal optimist and is sticking with his, but might need some windscreen wipers in a while because it's incredibly wet here. Not a pleasant day for beach volleyball, but a good game nonetheless going on to start us off 21 18 20 22 the scoring so far we're into a third to 15. Team Canada, Germany. Let's go. Germans pick up 
point one in set three. Very evenly matched teams here. 21-17, 21-17 earlier on in Pool E here at the Estrava. Four start. Can Wilkerson get there? Yes, she can. Can Bansley? Yes, good work from the Canadian team. Now, Borgia. What a rally this is. Oh, and then the slip from the experienced Carla Borgia. When you thought she must get the ball in play and she would get the ball in play. The daughter of former European champion of beach volleyball, Godula Putta. With the most abnormal of errors for her. That had power and panache right behind it. There was anger in that spike. Super spike. The Borgia's partner, Kozic. Wilkerson. Ease of quick thinking. Knowing where you put your opposition are she looks across the net she sees where borge has gone she gave her a second look to make her think like she was going to go there and then just dinks the ball beyond cottage now five points in two teams change side because it's of course first to 15 in set three although they do have to go to two points to be the victor this strava beach open in Canada, out to two points clear currently, 4-2 the score. The error in defence from the Germans. And it was Kozic's setting error that created the point for Wilkerson. Borgia bends her eye went. it drifts on the wind which just actually noticeably picked up literally just before that serve Wilkerson the net is not her friend there Germans bring it back to four apiece. Borgia jump serve. Wilkerson space left hand side goes left hand side beyond Borgia. Five four. Justin, pace taken away from the spike to stop it drifting out from Carla Borgia, who is having some major issues with her eyewear as the teams change sides once more. A re-clean needed. Played over 90 times. Former partner, Buta. Defeated by the Brazilian teams of Larissa and Talita. Finished ninth at the Olympic Games in 2016. Kozic still alive. Early celebration from the Germans was unwarranted. Here comes Borgia once more. 
Oh, Bansley left it and she shouldn't have. She had the hands, she had the position to keep the ball alive. And rather a major error in the end after all that effort from Edna Bansley. See here, don't leave it. She didn't. It's out. It's in. She thought it was out. It wasn't. 6 5, Germany lead. Make it. Bansley can't cope with the power of Kozic there. Five time German Volleyball Player of the Year. 2011 European Championship best spiker. Have a look at why. Because of super spiking like that. Margazeta Kozic. Doesn't need power and slightly outstretched by Kozic there, but Wilkerson went over the top of it. Once more, Kozic's power keeps Germany edging closer to the magic of 15. With another super spike, Carla Borgia turns to her in delight.